Hello YouTube, it's Ken Faulkner coming to you with another video. Um, I got a nice knife here and I'm going to tell you a story about it. But first I want to say a lot of thank yous. Um, I'm new to the YouTube channel, knife channel game and I've only got, this will be my sixth video. And I just need to say thank you to everybody who's viewed and commented and subbed to my channel. Um, I appreciate it so much. And um, without you guys interacting with me in the comments um, and all of that, this wouldn't be nearly as much fun. But I'm having a blast with it. I still kind of feel like I'm more of a, a viewer than a content con creator. Uh, definitely still new at this, but uh, I'm thinking of ways to kind of uh, improve things. Also, I need to have a big thank you for the other YouTube knife reviewers that have shouted out my channel. Um, it's just been super helpful. I know uh, I can't imagine what kind of uh, response I would have had for my videos if I hadn't had other channels uh, calling calling out, shouting out, and telling their viewers to come and watch what I'm doing. Uh, and one of the channels uh, is uh, Apex Alchemy. And uh, Billy and Courtney over there are really working hard, doing a great job with their, with their channel. Uh, I'm so amazed by what they've been doing with their, they actually went live. They're, they got a little over like five to 600 subs, I guess, and growing all the time and putting out video after video, well, a lot more than I'm putting out. And, um, they're just doing a great job. So if you haven't checked them out, uh, if you weren't sent over here by them, I, uh, I'd say go and, and, and check out their channel. Also, uh, uh, Behind the Edge, Behind the Edge, uh, with Nick Edwards, Nicholas Edwards. Uh, he just shouted me out just, uh, last day or two. And, uh, that guy's a great guy. I, I really enjoy his channel a lot. And, uh, he is booming. He's doing really well. He's just, uh, going through the subs, getting up close to a thousand. So he's another one. I'd say if you haven't checked him out, you're missing out. Really, really cool. Um, a bigger channel, somebody who's been around for a long, long time, and he's got a lot of viewers, and he doesn't need to be, you know, paying attention to me, uh, somebody watching and commenting on his videos, but he does. He is, uh, he's very personal with his, with his viewers, with his commenting, people that comment on his channel, and that would be Scab from Choir Boys Outdoor. And uh, I'm sure most of you have heard of him. If you haven't, you really gotta check his channel out. He's got some crazy knives and he is just growing and, and, and developing new ideas for his channel. And he's gonna be really big, really, really big. And he's already got almost 50,000 uh, subs as it is. He's uh, he's just growing and, and, and thinking about new ways to make things better all the time. So anyway, I wanted to say thank you to everybody involved in uh, the success of my channel. And uh, one part of that is that uh, Billy over Apex Al Alchemy, he uh, he was hitting me up and, and asking me if there's anything that I wanted to check out of his knives. He, he mailed me a couple of his knives and this is one of them right here. This is a Kershaw. Uh, I believe the name of it, let me check it out here, is uh, the Kershaw CQC6. CQC6K, maybe? It's, um, it's an Emerson design. So Kershaw was working with Emerson on this knife. And you can kind of see that, that, uh, that wave feature up here. And the thumb disc, which is very popular with Emerson. And when uh, uh, he was asking me what I wanted to see in his collection, was, Emerson is something I've been checking out lately. Don't have any of their knives in my collection, but uh, I've seen a couple channels showing them. They look really cool. I really like the way this one's got these, these horizontal grinds on that flat up here. 
And then down here is kind of like a stone wash on the, uh, the bevel. And I think it has a really cool look. You can kind of see that in the light there. And um, so it's got the, the G10 handle on one side. And on the other side, it's, uh, it's got that frame lock. Uh, I believe it's a steel line, uh, steel scale. And uh, it's a real nice knife. And uh, I got this from him um, maybe a few days back. And I was playing with it and checking it out. And I carried it some today. And I'm thinking to myself, there's something about this knife that's very familiar. And I don't know what it is. But the, the funny part of the story is that um, I realized I got a knife very much like it. Although very different at the same time. This is a trainer that I bought years ago. And I've had around for quite a while. It's, um, it's the same exact design. It's got a blue uh, G10 scale. But otherwise it's the same except you got these holes in the handle. And the reason for that this has no edge on it no edge at all it will not cut anything look how flat that thing is so this is something that you can use if you're into training uh, with knives uh, just training how to defend yourself or to be offensive with knives um, it's something that I've been kinda into for years I'm, I'm a, kind of a lifelong martial arts trainer uh, or student and uh, having my love of knives kind of mixed with that, uh, I've done some training with knife defense and, and knife fighting. And uh, so this is a knife that I picked up so I could to do that kind of training. So it's got that same action. And the cool thing about it is that there's actually a real knife, this knife, that has exactly the same feel to it. So if you train with the trainer and you needed for some reason to, to use this uh, knife for self-defense, you'd be very familiar with it. So that's the concept of it. And uh, that was just kind of a, a funny coincidence that I happened to, to have that same knife, not realizing when I asked him to be able to check it out. So I'm going to do a couple of size comparisons here. Some knives that uh, are very familiar to most people. This would be a Benchmade bug out. And you can see it's very close to the same size. This is like a Benchmade bug out is one of those EDC size knives that a lot of people really like. And so it's got that same kind of size to it. And then another one here would be the uh, Delica 4 from Spyderco. That's also about the same size, different blade shape, obviously. It's got the serrations on it. But... Uh, it's that same kind of EDC size, uh, have it in your pocket, and this is a tool. I mean, uh, you know, if it's one thing to think of a knife as a weapon, but for everybody, I mean, almost everybody who's not in law enforcement or the military, knives are tools, and, and we're just using them. We have them with us. We, If we need to cut something, if uh, we want to go out and do something where cutting's involved, we're going to carry that knife, and we're going to use it for that that uh, reason and that's you know the whole idea of, uh, of having it for self-defense that could be a little side thing but uh, really knives are tools for the majority of the people that carry them and also they're kind of fun too uh, there's something about a knife it's almost like uh, something from the the origin of man it's one of the first tools that was ever created and uh, it's just something about that that uh, for me, I kind of feel like a connection as a, as just a, a human being in general to it. But uh, anyway, it's got this wave function for opening. It also has the thumb disc, which uh, I think is kind of an Emerson sort of thing. I've seen a lot of Emersons with that thumb disc. It works okay. Uh, personally, I, I prefer like a thumb stud, but uh, it seems to work just fine. A middle finger flick. Doing that slow roll out, and then we can get maybe a, a 
it's kind of hard to do the thumb flick with it, but you can get that slow roll. And I'll do that, use that a lot just to get that knife out. But the Emerson Wave, this thing is going to catch if you if you got it in a closed position and it's in your pocket, and you pull it out and you just catch the edge of your pocket, it's gonna it's gonna flick out as you pull it out. And uh, so definitely a, a self defense related thing just to get it out. But if you're using it for a tool and you got your other hand using doing something else, and you just want to get that knife out and get it out right away, it also works for that too. It's great. Um, it's an Emerson feature. I think they have that patented. And I have that on a, on a couple knives that I own. And I think it's kind of cool. And uh, so, anyway, uh, when I'm training my martial arts, uh, usually I'm using something that kind of looks like this. If I can get that in the camera. It's a pretty big piece of wood, wooden knife. This is kind of a traditional blade. This is something that, you know, as a traditional martial artist, uh, going back to the history of the martial arts, this is something that was used for training. And it kind of uh, represents this Tonto type blade, which I can't get on the camera all at once because it's just too darn big. But the thing is about it is that you're not going to be carrying this down the street in your belt, most likely. So it's not something that... I mean, you can get some benefit out of training with a knife of this size, but that's really the reason for uh, a blade like this, a trainer, is that to be able to train with something that is really more like something you might actually be carrying. So I like this kind of knife for that, for that specific reason. So anyway... Um, thank you for watching again. I appreciate it. Um, I'm always looking for ways to improve my channel and, uh, over time, uh, I apologize that the name is just my name, Ken Faulkner. Uh, I'm going to be changing that eventually. I got to come up with something catchy, something, uh, knife EDC related. I just haven't been creative, creative enough to figure out what that's going to be, but, um, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll come up with something and we'll change the channel it'll be a li little easier to find I know there's another person out there on YouTube that using the same name uh, doing different kinds of videos so uh, that's something that Nick hit me up Nick from uh, behind beyond behind the edge he said hey you know people I'm shouting you out but then people are going and looking for you and find this other channel so <laughs> anyway uh, I had already known that I need to change that but I appreciate all the the benefits of of the experience that these other people have and them helping me to to develop my channel. I guess the biggest things I have to go back to, if you saw my first video, Freedom Frog Gear, he was the one that initially got me into doing videos. And uh, I had to get past that, that fear factor, that, you know, uh, fear of being in front of an audience. And he got me there. And uh, now I'm glad to be here and uh, looking forward to things for things to come. So I appreciate you all so much. You guys take care. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time.